Hello and welcome to a new video on Lab Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to know which button has been pressed. Consider the application in which you require a lot of buttons, but you want to know which button has been pressed. So I'm going to build a user interface in which I'll have several Boolean controls. So consider I have got four controls in the beginning. Uh, next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to build an array of all these buttons to check which button has been pressed. I'll use the shortcut or shortcut control space control W to wire all of them and then control U to clean the diagram. And then I'll use the search one DRA because at any given moment uh, you can only press one even button so I'm going to make that turn on and create indicator so basically like uh, whenever I run this VI I'll get the index of the button I have pressed so I'll run it continuously as you can see minus one basically means none of the button hasn't pressed so one thing I need to make change is I need to add the uh, make change the mechanical action to the switch when pressed. So now I'll run the VI again. So whenever I press, I'll get the respective index of the button. So this way I can know like which button has been pressed. Uh, but in this scenario, I can only know one the instance of like a which button is in press. What if I want to know? Uh, the several button has been pressed. For example, I press button two and four. So what I am going to do it is like I'll make this copy of the same code and then make the modification. So what I'm going to do is I'll remove the code afterwards the build array and add a for loop. And I'm going to use the index of the for loop to get the index of the button that hasn't pressed. So I'm going to change that to conditional terminal and then I'll connect that over there so that I'll get the indices of the controls that hasn't pressed. So in this case I'll get an array rather than the scalar value. So if I run the VI again as you can see that one is working fine. I can only press a button at a time into the left hand side. So in this case on the right hand side I can whenever I press I get the index of the buttons that I have pressed uh, but there is certain limitation in this code for example if I need to add one more control I need to programmatically wire everything and uh, this is not actually scalable in nature so to make it scalable what we're going to do it is uh, I'll actually build a cluster out of these boolean buttons So I'm going to put all this control inside the cluster. Now what I'm going to do is I'll get the copy of the code from the top and then connect that. So I'll convert that cluster into an array. Uh, make sure that you have got only the same elements inside the cluster. If you have mixed element, then you cannot convert that into an array. In this case, I've got all Boolean controls, so I can easily convert them into an array. And now if I run the VI, uh, as you can see, like it works perfectly fine, just like the code on the above. But the advantage now I have is like my code is more scalable in nature. I can easily add more controls. I'll arrange, arrange them nicely and then I'll run the VI again. As you can see, like uh, I can easily just by modifying my control, I have been able to know like which button has been pressed. I hope you like this video. Uh, please like, share and comment on this video. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW videos.